Hey, so this is Jess from Stark Skincare, and if you follow my blog or um, on, follow me on Facebook or anywhere else, you know that uh, my partner and I, who's um, my business partner and also my husband, Adri, had a baby on March 23rd. And this is baby Z, who is almost seven weeks old. Um, so he... Uh, he decided to make an appearance um, almost on his due date. So on March 22nd at 20 to 4 in the morning, I uh, was very uncomfortable in bed and sort of was wiggling around and went into child's um, position to try to ease some back pain that I was having when I heard a pop. And um, that was actually my water breaking and it broke it splashed all over the bed and it splashed all over the floor and it splashed all the way up the hallway as I went to the bathroom and so uh, my husband uh, mopped and then we grabbed our bags and we went off to the hospital and that was at the Royal Victoria Hospital in Montreal um, so the first six hours of my labor I didn't have any drugs um, for about four of the six hours I was confined to a bed which really sucked because um, there was a risk of the umbilical cord slipping out because he was high and I was starting to dilate which I'd never heard of before and that honestly made labor very difficult for me um, so after when once I was able to actually move around um, my contractions were coming really uh, regularly and quickly and strongly I think they were only well two minutes apart and they were really, really, really intense, um, more intense than I had anticipated, um, which apparently if your water breaks before going into labor, that's kind of common that you have um, pretty hard labor and that, but usually it actually goes quite quickly. So I thought that my labor wasn't going to be too, very long. This is my first baby though, so uh, that wasn't really the case. So after... Um, after the four hours and I was able to move around, uh, I was actually crawling around on the ground vomiting and looking for things to punch. Uh, Adri says that I was essentially a feral animal and I was scaring the staff. So, so at one point a nurse came in and asked me, you know, why is it that you wanted um, a natural birth? And at that point I didn't have a very clear answer. I wanted a good experience. I wanted you know, a memorable day and what I was going through was essentially a nightmare and I don't want to scare anyone who is pregnant right now and having their first baby. This isn't going to be, you know, this isn't necessarily what's going to happen to you, but for me and just, I don't know, the way it was going, maybe the way that I deal with pain, even though I thought I was prepared, um, it just didn't really go the way I had planned. So, you know, but I, I was flexible and open-minded and I did ask for an epidural um, eventually and so after six hours of, a nat of natural labor I got an epidural which um, was amazing <laughs> and then after that I had a great day Adrian and I um, just like we snacked and we listened to music and we were joking with the staff and just we had a really awesome time um, and then around 10 o'clock at night it started to get pretty intense again my contractions were really hard and I was getting that urge to push so I actually asked um, a, the doctors, uh, the resident doctor and the, um, the nurses if I could uh, push the baby out, please. And um, they said, okay. <laughs> and I was, uh, I was dilated enough. Oh, wait a second, there's a, back, there's a little backstory. So for eight hours um, of my labor, the resident OBGYN that I had was, in fact, a, the woman who AJ was dating whenever he and I met. So that was really awkward. <laughs> um, and I was wondering if she was actually going to be the one to deliver my baby, but uh, she wasn't. Um, so the next, or, or maybe even two, the, like, like two rotations after was the, the team that would deliver my baby. And so I'd ask them, can I push out the baby, please? And uh, they said, yeah. And so they started setting up the bed um, so that I would be pushing with, in that horrible position with your legs up in the stirrups, which I really didn't want to be doing. But I wasn't really in a position haha, to be uh, arguing. And um, I was so tired after 21 hours of labor that I actually found that I didn't 
care that much. I thought I'd be really like, you know, let me push any position I want and, you know, I don't want a bunch of extra people in the room, but there was about eight people in there or so. I was pushing the position I, I didn't care for, but I didn't really mind that much. I just wanted, I just wanted to meet Baby Z. Like, I just wanted to, to get on with it, I guess. I was getting really exhausted. So I, um, I pushed for two hours. The, the doctor was a little bit rude. <laughs> like he, after every time I'd push, he'd always tell me that I'd have to try harder. Like basically like I was being like, like, what do you think? Like, I'm not trying hard. Like I'm just, you know, like, like I was trying really hard anyways. So I pushed for two hours and it was kind of cool. I got to watch, um, the first time his head appeared with the mirror and it was really amazing just also hearing um, Adri's level of excitement every time that he we could see a little, little patch of hair um, coming out and um, yeah it was it was amazing but the problem was that he was not he was high up and so the doctor had to also like push on my belly sometimes and like to try to help him come down and out and you know they were telling me that I needed an episiotomy and possibly um, vacuum extraction and I refused both and at one point where they were like I think I think the doctor was kind of waiting for me to give up because I was just like beyond exhausted and uh, you know I really wanted to avoid a c-section just because that's the way I was born and I mean there's nothing wrong with that I think I turned out more or less okay <laughs> but um, that's just not what I wanted I, I wanted to, to deliver vaginally and so I literally just looked at the doctor and said, fuck it, he's coming out now. <laughs> I pushed out the baby. So maybe not the most romantic, um, you know, birth. <laughs> but uh, he came out and um, I did tear, as the doctor had promised. Um, and I think he was actually kind of excited because I tore in four different places. And so everyone, all the residents, resident doctors and all the, the, the students and everyone, pretty much got to take a shot at uh, stitching me up <laughs> so I didn't I, I did, like I said I didn't care I could have been in an auditorium full of people I would not have cared um, and then uh, when he came out they put him they put him on my chest and he was just perfect this moment we saw him he was just like this perfect little person and he continues to be so as you can see he's he's a cute one he's a good boy He's a good baby. Likes to eat very much. <laughs> so he was born at uh, 8 pounds 1 ounce, 12.36 a.m. on uh, March 23rd, 2013. He's actually the exact same weight that I was when I was born. And he's now about 11 or 12 pounds. And uh, he's a long baby. He's uh, 20.9 inches, or he was, um, 53 centimeters. And, um, you know, got on his APGAR score, he was 9 and 9. So... A plus baby and yeah he's totally changed our lives and made it exciting and we just love wearing him everywhere we're, we're big baby wearers and you know he's breastfed and he's a good kid <laughs> we'll keep him